not the measles update I was hoping to give. The U.S. is now reporting the highest number of measles cases in 33 years. The largest outbreak is in Texas, where we saw over 790 cases uh, in the U.S. altogether. We've had over 155, I believe, hospitalizations and three deaths, uh, two of which were children. We're at risk of losing our elimination status. So it, back in 2000, we declared that we eliminated measles in the U.S. And this is just a public health term that means uh, that we didn't see constant transmission for one year or longer. A reminder that measles is one of the most infectious diseases that we have on record, but the good news is that we do have a way to prevent it. The MMR vaccine is nearly 100% effective after both doses. There have been some rumors that vitamin A supplementation could be used as a replacement for vaccination, but that is 100% false. Vitamin A cannot prevent measles. Uh, it is given as a supportive treatment uh, if, if you're hospitalized for measles, but it's mainly effective in those who are deficient in vitamin A, and it does not prevent the illness. Also remember that measles can cause a lot more than just death. Death is not the only outcome of measles. Other terrible things can happen, including immune amnesia, which means in, I don't know, simple terms that our immune system is basically wiped out and forgets everything it learned, making us super vulnerable to lots of other things not just measles. It can also cause things like encephalitis, which is a swelling of the brain. Both of my kids already received both doses of their MMR. So did I, so did my husband. Uh, and if I did have a child who was under one year of age and did not yet receive their first dose, I would have a conversation with my pediatrician if I lived in an area with high transmission of measles or was traveling to a place with high rates of measles uh, to see if they might recommend an early dose of the vaccine because MMR can be given as early as six months of age. And just a heads up that if your child does get an early dose uh, that does not replace the series. So they will still need to receive another dose between 12 to 15 months of age and then also between four to six years of age. If you did receive both doses of MMR, the good news is you are super well protected against measles. If you're not sure if you got both doses and you can't find your medical records, talk to your clinician. Uh, they might recommend that you just go ahead and get a dose of MMR. Uh, lots of immunologists have said that you can probably skip titers. There's all sorts of super technical things, but titers don't always pick up on all the different types of immunity. And so um, some recommend just skipping that step and going ahead and getting the additional dose. Definitely worth a conversation with your clinician please drop any questions you have in the comments.